Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create smooth and creative transitions in Filmora using AI Smart Mask, Draw Mask, and AI Portrait Cutout. Let's jump in. First, bring your clips into the timeline and trim them down. Select your first clip, go to the Mask tab, and choose AI Mask. Use the brush to highlight your subject. Try to avoid brushing over the background. You want that selection as clean as possible. Once it's looking good, duplicate the clip and place it on the track above. On the top clip, invert the mask. This will isolate just the background. On the bottom clip, you already have your subject. So now you've split your video into two parts, subject and background. Let's animate it next. At the beginning of both clips, add a position keyframe. Now move the top clip slightly out of frame, maybe slide it upward. Jump forward about four to six frames, then reset the position. Filmora will auto-create that second keyframe. Do the same thing on the bottom clip, but move it in the opposite direction. Just like that, your subject and background slide apart for a smooth transition. Now let's move on to the second masking method, Draw Mask. First, bring in the second video you want to transition to. Drag it onto the timeline about 15 frames before the first clip ends. Adjust the size if needed so it fills the screen properly. Click on the new clip, go to the Mask section, and choose Draw Mask. Now use the pen tool to draw a mask around the area you want to reveal first. For this example, I'm masking the right side of a wall. Masking works best when you have straight lines, so try to follow clean edges. Once you've drawn the shape, connect the last point to the first to close the mask. This creates a cutout revealing just the right side of the video. Next, duplicate this clip and drag the duplicate to a new track above. On this second clip, go back to the mask and now create a new mask for the left side of the wall. Use the pen tool again and trace just that side. Once you're done, close the shape to finish the mask. Now duplicate the clip again. This time we're going to mask the center section. Drag the new duplicate to a third track on top. To make things easier, hide the first two layers for now. That way you can focus on just the center mask. Draw the shape using the pen tool, outline the center part of the wall or subject, and close it once again. When you're done, unhide the other two clips. At this point, you should see all three masked sections, right, left, and center, stacked above each other. To make them appear one at a time, go to the first clip, the one with the right side, move a few frames forward on the timeline. Then, go to the second clip, the left side, and trim its beginning so it starts just after the first one. Do the same for the center clip. Trim its beginning a few frames after the second. Now, when you play it back, each section will appear one after the other in a nice flowing reveal. If you notice black edges where the masks meet, here's the fix. Duplicate the original clip, trim it, and place it above the others. Then remove the mask completely. This fills in any small gaps and smooths out the transition. All right, now let's animate it. Start with the first mask clip, the one showing the right side. Go to the beginning of that clip and add a position keyframe. Then move the video completely out of frame to the right. Now jump ahead about six to 10 frames and reset the position. That'll bring it smoothly back in. Now let's do the same for the second clip, the one masked on the left side. Add a keyframe at the start and slide it out to the left. A few frames forward, reset the position. Now it slides in just like the first one. Finally, animate the center clip. Add a position keyframe at the beginning and move it up or down, whichever looks better for your scene. Then reset the position a few frames later to bring it back in. With that, you've got all three sections smoothly animated in sequence, clean, creative, and ready for your next transition. Now for the last trick, AI portrait cutout. This one's perfect if your subject is a person. Drag your clip about 15 frames before the previous one ends. Adjust the size if needed, then trim it. Go to AI Tools and select AI Portrait Cutout. Filmora will automatically remove the background. Now go to the Basic tab, add a position keyframe, and move the subject off screen. At the end of the clip, reset the position. Filmora creates a second keyframe and boom! Smooth pop-in animation. To make it even better, add sound effects, cut to the beat, or throw in a little shake for energy. I'm just giving you the basics. The rest is all you. Send me your final result. I'd love to see what you create. And hey, remember this, 
the best editors aren't the ones with the fanciest tools. They're the ones who just keep creating. Like, subscribe, and follow for more.